All right, we are here with Stanford safety Justin Reed, and first question I got to ask: schedule change due to fire or disaster? That's got to be a first in your football career. Yeah, this is the first time anything like this has happened over here. I mean, we have hurricanes in the southeast. We have wildfires happening over here. You know, and it's just wild to me how the smoke was covering the whole campus. You couldn't see the sky at one point. So it's just, you know, it's a very unfortunate situation what's happening up north in Napa Valley and all those places and, you know, praying for those people. So we just got done talking with Coach Aquina who had nothing but good things to say about you. And I talked to Blake Martinez once and he said he sat in on a DB meeting at one point with Coach Aquina and he immediately wanted to become a defensive back. Can yeah. you just talk about what it's like being coached by him? I mean, he's literally a living legend. Like he single-handedly is one of the biggest reasons why I even came to this school. Just the track record of guys he's had like Earl Thomas, Kenny Vaccaro, Michael Hoff. I mean, the list goes on and on. And then when you sit in the meeting with him, you see it. Just how smart he is. Like literally, he breaks football and offensive schemes and strategies into a science that you're able to just read. And if you're paying attention to your keys and you're listening to them the right way, you literally can figure out what the offense is going to do before they even do it just off of offensive philosophy and things like that, schematics and things like that. So he's just been a phenomenal coach and he always gives you more. As soon as you feel like you've gotten on top of something, he inserts some new piece of information, some new thing for you to read, for you to speed up your game even faster. He's constantly giving you more for you to better yourself. So uh, you talked a little bit last week about Utah's past game, kind of the longer roots. Is there a distinguishing characteristic you've seen from Oregon on film in the past game? I mean, these guys can run. I mean, these guys love to take shots. Uh, you see their third and long situations. You see even their normal route situation. This guy's running down the field and they're just trying to run faster than you can and find open space. And you're going to have a quarterback throw it as deep as he can, see if you can find an open guy that way. And they do some unique things, like as far as a spot pass, and they complement that nicely with a spot and go to where the person will fake like he's about to catch a spot pass and then he just takes off into the, some more open space. So they have some nice concepts. We're just going to have to make sure our eyes are right. Stay on top of routes will be the most important thing since they love to take those shots and be ready for the sit downs too whenever they want to do that. So you guys obviously did a lot of good things right on Saturday. Just last two questions here. Was last Saturday the best game that you feel the defense played? We played extremely well. I will say that this season I feel like that is the best game that we played. Just guys were on top of the responsibilities. You know, we stuffed the run. We had a little bit of struggle with the run. There's still a lot of room for improvement. But as soon as we got the run sorted out after the first two quarters, we were playing our game. And it really showed out and it was productive for us. Especially at the end of the game, we were able to force those two turnovers and give our offense a chance to kill some more of the clock and really put the game away. So, and then just one last thing, if there's one, been one point of emphasis of improvement this week, what would you say it's been? Just having a high motor. We're six games deep. We're coming up on our bye week, but we can't relax. We got to keep pushing the pedal to the floor, you know, keep gunning it. Don't take plays off. Don't just jog over to the ball. You got to just keep running to the ball. We need all 11 guys, whenever the ball is thrown, whenever the ball is run, to be sprinting over to the ball. So that way it's not just a one-on-one -on -one tackling situation. We have as many balls to the ball, as many people to the ball as possible. All right, that's Stanford safety, Justin Reed. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, of course.